I've always been terrified to engage both of you. But I agree. I, Why? I'm afraid of truth, I think. I agree. Why? Because I... When you hear truth, what does it make you feel about yourself? Pretty shit. Yeah. Okay, so this is about not wanting to feel about my true condition. Yeah. Yeah, many of the women in the audience have the same issue. Yeah, that's why they're so afraid. Mm. Well, what I was going to say, though, was that I feel like I've got this demand coming at both of you to engage me, like at the dinner yeah, table. Yeah, you, you want us to do the work. Yeah. Yeah, many of the women in the audience have this same concept that as long as we do all the work, then it makes them feel like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm better than what I thought I was, and yeah. you know, all these kind of things makes them feel that they're addicted to having somebody in a position of, that they feel is in a position of power. And by the way, we do not have any power over you whatsoever, <laughs> but, they, but it's your belief if you think we do. Someone in authority, I don't have any authority over you. God has authority over you. God's laws have authority over you. That's the only things that have authority over you. Mm. Right? And by the way, those laws and God has the same authority over me as you. So, so I'm just a person, you're just a person, so why all the fear? I don't, I don't know. I just, I feel like you can see everything of me. and I, I can. And what does it feel like? I just don't, I, <laughs> I, f I thought I wanted to know, but then every time I see you, I don't, like, I would rather run the other direction. Yes, so what's the addiction? It's an addiction to running away from truth. Yeah. It's an addiction. Yeah. What, what, you feel impelled to run away from truth. Whenever you're in our company, you're in, you know, it's, uh, uh, you remember the emotions? Corny's going to remind you of them today in the homework. The emotions of the addiction, the compulsion feeling, you mm. know, the, the panic, the, all of that stuff, which is all part of that. I've got to go in the like, <laughs> I think I will. This, you know, how many of you have said to yourself, this time when I interact with AJ and Mary, this is what I'm going to do. And then you get to interact with this and what do you do? Completely the opposite thing in a lot of cases, right? And, and why does that happen? Because you're in compulsion in that moment. You're compelled by an emotion within your soul, dragging you in another direction. Mm. That's an addiction. Mm. Right? So there's an addiction inside of many of you to run away from truth. That's why we found it so hard talking to you this week already, because many of you are addicted to running away from truth. Like I think I want it, you know, when I'm not around you, like I'll listen to stuff all the time and I'll feel like I'm engaging the Okay, can, can I just say to you, between the two of us, who do you think is the most open person to truth? You. <laughs> right? Now, if you come into my company and you run away from me, do you really want truth in your day-to-day -day life? No. So what do you want in your day-to-day -day life? To get away from it. Just you to... want to run away from truth. Mm. Right? If you do it when you're with me and you're doing it when you're with God, don't you think you're already doing it? Don't tell yourself the lie that you're, doing, you're better yeah. when you're away because you're not. You're worse. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? Like I said, if you can't do it here, then you're going to do it worse out there in the world. Not better. Mm -hmm. right? A lot of people think when they engage myself, Mary, Corny, personally, they go, oh, well, that didn't go very good. It's a good thing that my day-to-day -day life's not like that and I do better. No, you're not doing better. It's just that you're with a person who's got more truth in them and more openness to truth and no judgment about it and all that. And once you get into those kind of situations, you're just, you're just out of control with addictions, trying to pedal backwards, you know, going, ah! It's sort of like you can imagine yourself riding a push bike down a very, very steep hill, trying to wire, do, go backwards with your legs, going, ah! Just trying to stop, brakes on. And this is where many of you are going, like... And the hill is where you need to go in this case. You need to go into all of the stuff that's really going on in your life, but, but you're in a panic, brakes on, trying to ride backwards and, and screaming your lungs out uh, while you're going down the hill. Now, that, that's not what I would call an openness to truth. That's like a resistance to truth. God's going to get you there sooner or later. 
Now, I've got friends in the first century still in the hells. God's going to get them there sooner or later. You know, it might take them 10,000 years, 20,000 years. God's going to get them there sooner or later. It's far better to embrace the process than it is to try and pedal back, go backwards. And right? God's okay with you screaming as well. But every time you're trying to go backwards, trying to go against the grain of all of God's laws, trying to go against the grain of truth, nothing's going to turn out well. <laughs>